Good morning everyone. In this video we are going to explain the equation of a circle. Now we are going to determine the equation of a circle when given its center and its radius. So before we get to that, let's consider a circle in a Cartesian plane. So this is a Cartesian plane. We have x axis and the y axis. So we consider this circle here. So consider the circle whose center is AB. And then let's also have a general point on the circumference, point P, whose coordinate is X, Y. Now, sorry, this is the origin. If we can determine the X coordinate on the X axis, that is A, and then on the Y axis, we have B, that is for the center of the circle, and then for the point P, the X coordinate determined on the X axis is X, and the Y coordinate is Y. And then let's have the radius of the circle as R. Now considering a right angle triangle as shown here, this right angle triangle which is right angled at this point, then the displacement in the x direction is from point A to point B, that is just as shown on the x axis, so the displacement here is x minus A, and then along the y direction on this triangle the displacement is y minus b, so the displacement here, y minus b. Now, we're going to apply Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem. Now the three sides of this triangle are related as, so the square of the base, x minus a squared, plus the square of the height, that is y minus b squared, so this is the base and this is the height, that should be equal to the square of the hypotenuse, which is the radius of the triangle, or rather the radius of the circle, sorry. Now this gives us the general form of the equation of a circle. So A and B are the coordinates of the center of the circle and R is the radius of the circle. So once again, the center of the circle is A comma B and radius is R. So let's look at a case here. Find the equation of a circle whose center is 2,3 and radius 5 centimeters. Well, we are simply going to have the general form of the equation of a circle that is x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is equal to r squared, just as we've determined up here. And then ours is to identify a and b in the center that is provided here. So if the center is given as 2,3 and generally the center is a, comma b, which are these values here, a, b in the equation, then we'll do our substitution here, so we have 
x minus a and a is 2 for this case so minus 2 and then we square plus bracket y minus b and b is 3 here and then we square on the right hand side we insert the value of the radius so r as given in the equation is 5 centimeters so it's 5 squared sorry here is 5 so radius is 5 all right at this point we can square 5 and get 25 let me rewrite this x minus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared is equal to 25 so here already we have the equation of the circle in its general form but the question may require us to expand the left hand side so if that is the case we may be required to leave our answer say in the form x squared plus y squared plus ax plus by plus c is equal to zero so if you're told to get to this point that simply means that we expand the brackets on the left hand side so let's do that on the left hand side we have x minus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared now i'm going to apply this quadratic identity uh, let me list this first so recall that if you're given a quadratic or rather an expression x uh, let me use a a minus b squared then we'll have these terms a squared 2ab b squared so that here is addition and then the sign that we have here depends on what we have between a and b in this bracket so for this case we have minus so let's have here minus so anything in this form when expanded should take up this form so the brackets we have here i have here minus because what we have in the equation is negative and here also negative so when we expand this uh, we can apply this quadratic identity so we'll have x squared that is a squared so x squared minus and then twice x times 2 that is 4x and then plus 2 squared which is plus 4 that is b squared b 2 corresponds to b here x corresponds to a all right so that is for the first bracket and then for the second part we are going to have applying the same we have y squared minus 6y plus 9 and then on the right hand side we have 25 so we're already getting to this point i want us to bring 25 to the left hand side so that we have zero as we have it in this equation so x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus y squared minus 6y plus 9 and then 25 comes here to become minus 25 the right hand side is now 0 now we will be rearranging these terms according to this equation here so we're going to have let's begin with x squared so here we have x squared followed by y squared here also we have y squared followed by ax ax here is negative 4x and then followed by 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 here is negative 6y and then plus c c is the constant terms combined so we have 4 9 and negative 25 so 4 plus 9 is 13 and therefore 13 minus 25 that should be negative 12 
okay and then the right hand side we have zero so here we have the very equation of the circle but in this form How about if the question required us to leave it in the form x squared plus y squared plus ax plus by is equal to c? So there's no big difference here. We are simply going to have the constant term C brought to the right hand side and this equation here becomes x squared plus y squared plus, sorry this is A, uh, not plus but here is minus, sorry for that, so minus 4x minus 6y and then negative 12 crosses, negative 12 is C. So it crosses so that we have positive 12. And that is it. So this is how we determine the equation of a circle when we are provided with the center and its radius. So with this, we mark the end of this lesson. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Oh.